Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, green uh, rectangle uh, EDGF uh, fully confined uh, in a right uh, triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, segment uh, AE is uh, 8 uh, units. Likewise, uh, this segment uh, EB is 8 units as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, line segment uh, CD is uh, 6 units and this uh, segment uh, BD is uh, 6 units as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle uh, EDGF. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, some of their angles, alpha and beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle uh, over here is uh, alpha. We have this uh, 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be our angle uh, beta. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AEF. We know that this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be angle beta. And now we know that this angle is uh, 90 degrees and this angle is beta. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be alpha. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EBD. We know that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be angle uh, beta. And now we can see that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. This angle uh, is uh, beta. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And here's our next step. I have drawn uh, this uh, auxiliary line uh, PD that is uh, parallel to this uh, line uh, AB. And as a result, we get these uh, two right triangle. This first right triangle is uh, EBD and the other right triangle is uh, PDC. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, PDC. We know that this angle is beta this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be angle uh, alpha. Then we can conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, PDC is uh, congruent to this uh, another right triangle EBD according to angle uh, side angle uh, congruency theorem. Since uh, this side length uh, is same as uh, this uh, side length, and since these two triangles are congruent, uh, if this side length uh, EB is uh, 8 units, uh, then this side length uh, PD is going to be 8 units as well. And here in this uh, next step, uh, I have connected this point uh, P with this uh, point uh, E. And as a result, we can see that uh, we got this uh, rectangle uh, EBDP and this uh, angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees. And now since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle, if uh, this side uh, length uh, is uh, 6 uh, units, then uh, this uh, side length uh, PE is going to be 6 uh, units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, EPD, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 6 uh, and uh, 8. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle EPD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, our uh, base is uh, 8 and our height is uh, 6. So the area of this uh, triangle uh, EPD is going to be equal to, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So this is going to be a half times uh, 8 times uh, 6. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, the area of uh, this uh, triangle uh, EPD turns out to be 24 square units. 
So thus our triangle EPD area turns out to be 24 square units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green uh, rectangle EDGF. And here I have copied it down. And let's assume that its uh, length uh, is uh, B. That also stands for base. And its uh, width uh, is H. That also stands for height. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times width. In our case, our length uh, is uh, B and our width is uh, H. So therefore, the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be B times uh, H. So the area of this uh, rectangle turns out to be B times H. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EPD inside this uh, rectangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half uh, times base uh, times height in our case uh, our this uh, base of this uh, triangle is b and the height uh, of this uh, triangle is h so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of this uh, triangle epd is going to be a half uh, times uh, base is uh, B and height uh, is uh, H. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle turns out to be a half of uh, B times H. Therefore by just looking at uh, these uh, two equations we conclude uh, that the area of this uh, triangle EPD is going to be a half uh, of this uh, green rectangle uh, EDGF area. And we already figured out the area of this uh, triangle uh, EPD, which is uh, 24. So I'm going to replace uh, this uh, EPD triangle area by 24. So therefore, I can uh, replace this uh, EPD area by 24 equals to a half uh, times uh, green uh, rectangle uh, area. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 to remove this uh, fraction. And here we can see 2 and uh, 1 over 2, they cancel each other out. And on the left hand side, 2 times 24 is uh, 48. So therefore, our uh, green uh, area turns out to be 48 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, green rectangle uh, EDGF uh, turns out to be 48 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.